aircraft carriers, destroyers, and submarines often steal the spotlight in discussions of naval power, the Blue Ridge-class command ships quietly assume the role of the ultimate orchestrators of maritime operations. Their command and control capabilities, adaptability, and versatility make them important assets in today's naval operations. The Blue Ridge-class command ships are a series of command ships operated by the United States Navy. The class's lead ship, USS Blue Ridge, LCC-19, was commissioned in 1970, and she was followed by her sister ship, USS Mount Whitney, LCC-20, in 1971. The two Blue Ridge-class LCCs are the only ships designed from the keel up for an amphibious command ship role. After entering service, both ships largely have served as fleet flagships. Blue Ridge became the seventh fleet flagship in 1979 and is forward deployed to Yokosuka, Japan. Mount Whitney is the sixth fleet flagship after operating since 1981 as the second fleet flagship. Here's why the Blue Ridge class command ships are so important to naval operations. Number one, command and control hub. At the heart of the Blue Ridge class command ships importance is their role as command and control hubs. These vessels have state-of-the-art communication systems, intelligence gathering capabilities, and extensive command facilities. They serve as a mobile headquarters for the fleet commander, enabling them to exercise command and control over a wide area of operations. In a rapidly changing and dynamic naval environment, having a centralized command post that can adapt to evolving situations is paramount. The Blue Ridge class command ships provide this capability, allowing fleet commanders to make critical decisions, issue orders, and coordinate the movements of various naval assets from aircraft carriers to submarines. Number two, crisis response and humanitarian assistance. One of the key strengths of the Blue Ridge class command ships is their versatility. These vessels are not limited to wartime operations. They are equally adept at responding to crises and conducting humanitarian assistance missions. Their ability to rapidly deploy and provide command and control capabilities in disaster-stricken areas is a testament to their importance. The Blue Ridge class command ships can serve as a central coordination point for relief efforts during humanitarian crises, such as natural disasters or conflict-related emergencies. They facilitate efficiently deploying resources, personnel, and medical assistance to affected areas, demonstrating their value beyond traditional military operations. Number three, diplomatic engagement and strategic partnerships. Naval diplomacy plays a significant role in modern international relations. The presence of a Blue Ridge class command ship in a foreign port sends a powerful message of engagement and cooperation. These vessels often serve as platforms for high-level diplomatic meetings and engagements, further underscoring their role in advancing national interests. These ships facilitate dialogue and collaboration with partner nations and allies by hosting diplomatic receptions and meetings on board. Number four, intelligence gathering and information sharing. The Blue Ridge class command ships are also equipped with advanced intelligence gathering systems to collect valuable data on maritime activities, potential threats, and geopolitical developments. This intelligence can be shared with partner nations and integrated into a broader intelligence network. The information gathered by these command ships enhances situational awareness, supports decision-making processes, and contributes to the overall security and stability of the maritime domain. Number five, force protection and security. 
These ships play a crucial role in force protection by serving as a command post for maritime security operations. They can coordinate the deployment of naval forces to deter potential threats and respond rapidly to security incidents. Furthermore, these vessels have advanced defensive systems, including anti-aircraft and anti-missile capabilities, enhancing their survivability in hostile environments. Number six, modernization and adaptability. The Blue Ridge class command ships have undergone numerous upgrades and modernization efforts to ensure they remain at the forefront of command and control capabilities. These modernization efforts have included improvements in communication systems, data processing, and cybersecurity to meet the demands of contemporary naval operations. The ability to incorporate cutting-edge technology ensures that these ships can continue to fulfill their vital roles in an ever-evolving maritime environment. Number seven, supporting joint and combined operations. Naval operations are rarely conducted in isolation. They often involve joint and combined operations with other branches of the military and international partners. The Blue Ridge class command ships are ideally suited to serve as a command and control platform for such operations, allowing for seamless coordination among different elements of the military and coalition forces. Their interoperability with other naval vessels and aircraft, as well as their ability to facilitate joint and combined planning and execution, makes them essential in complex military operations. Number eight, strategic mobility. Commissioned in 1971, these are the only ships to be designed initially for an amphibious command ship role. Earlier amphibious command ships needed more speed to keep up with a 20-knot amphibious force. The mobility of the Blue Ridge class command ships is another significant advantage. These vessels are designed to be highly mobile and capable of rapidly relocating to different theaters of operation. This mobility provides flexibility in responding to emerging threats and opportunities ensuring that command and control capabilities can be quickly and strategically positioned where needed. The USS Blue Ridge and USS Mount Whitney's service lives were extended in 2011 by the Chief of Naval Operations to 2039. An Extended Service Life Program, or ESLP, is being executed jointly by the Naval Sea Systems Command, or NAVC, and Military Sea Lift Command. ESLP is focused on ensuring the platforms can support the full range of mission requirements for an embarked numbered fleet commander. The program provides for the repair and overhaul of systems and equipment, replacement of obsolete equipment, and modernization of selected systems, spaces, and equipment to be included in an extended service life program. Major areas of improvement will be shipboard electrical generation and distribution, HVAC upgrades, operational space optimization, habitability and safety modifications, and corrosion control.